Hello everybody, today we are not playing a video game, in fact we're actually making a tier list on a video game, and I'd like you guys to guess what video game we're making a tier list on. Minecraft, of course, I mean what else would I be doing, that's basically the only game I play besides Call of Duty. Um, so we have a vast selection to pick from here, we're gonna do all of them today. Um, so to start off we got the bat, crappy. I don't understand the need for this mob. Uh, you don't even get any loot from killing it. And it squeaks. And it's annoying. And you find it in dark places. So it blends in. And it's not fun to have to deal with it. Then we have the B. I say. I say C tier. I mean, it has some use, but you don't get anything from killing it. That's my main way of ranking these things if you get something from killing it. But you don't get anything from killing this guy. You get honey. From the beehives. And they attack you if you destroy the beehives. Which I mean, I think this is understandable, but like, really? And now we have the blaze. Very useful mob, but really annoying. So, solid B tier. You need this in order to beat the game and get the blaze rods. Now we have the cat. E tier. I'm not even going to elaborate on that. Uh, what is this? Yeah, a cave spider. Um. F. We already have the spiders. And speaking of spiders, I'm actually going to go out of order. The spider. Mm, D tier. Because you can make a few. Oh, oops. You can make a few solid. A few solid potions with the fermented spider eye. That's about it. And it has a spider jockey. So along with the spider jockey. Even though we don't have that. Because it's not really a mob. It's just a combination of two mobs. Those mobs being skeleton and the spider. Skeleton. Actually, forget D tier. F. I hate this thing with every bone in my body. No pun intended. Uh, now we got the chicken. Hmm. Useful. Pretty useful. B tier. Um, food. That that's it. And what is carp? E tier. It's a crappy fish. So is the salmon. That's also a crappy fish. Um, I've got a tropical fish here. Yeah, a tropical fish. A tier. Looks cool. It is food. Now we have the cow. Hmm, a little better than the chicken because the cook, because the steak, steak gives you more hunger points than the ch chicken. Need I say more? Hmm. Huh? The creeper. What else does it do except for destroy your life's work? Anyway, dolphin. Hmm. I would say a D tier. I mean, it gives you um faster swimming, which I mean, I guess it's helpful, but I don't get anything from killing it. Therefore, I don't care for it. It's a donkey. Um. Seats. Uh. C tier because I think you could store stuff on it. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that stupid that I'd actually do that. That's what chests are for. Uh, these guys, the the, the drowned. They're fine when they don't have the trident, like in this picture. But when they do have the trident, I could commit a war crime at that point. So, F tier, a bit better than the skeleton. Actually, no. Just as bad as a skeleton, but not as bad as the creeper. The Elder Guardian. Interesting boss. A tier. And you do get something from killing it, I don't remember. Again, with an interesting boss. The Enderman. An Enderman. The Enderman, not the interesting boss, but actual Enderman this time. Hmm. What well, definitely helps you beat the game you need in order to get the Ender Dragon. B tier. And now, for the actual boss, the Ender Dragon, S tier. I really like this mob, or boss if you want to call it that. It's a dragon. It's better than this little crap right here. The Ender Might does nothing. And I'm going to really put these two together. We got the Evoker, D tier. Not very interesting, kind of like the um, Pillager and everything like that. And whatever this is and then the vex 
just as bad as just as bad as the evoker. I mean, these thing this thing spawns the vex. So now the fox, cute mob. I will give it that. But it's a D tier, or not a D tier, an E tier actually, because I don't get anything from killing it. Yes, I kill these things. Useless. Now the guardians. Hmm. Let's give this, um, a C tier. Yeah, that's good, because I don't know what you get from killing it, but it's annoying, because they guard the, the elder guardians with their life, although they are pretty easy to kill. Now the horses. Very high A tier. I mean, these things help you get from point A to point B like a damn car. And now the husks, um, not, we don't, we didn't need this mob, so, F tier, of course. Iron golem, low S tier, because it depends on what side you're on. If you're killing it, it's a nightmare. If you're working with it, it couldn't be better. And the llama, well, I mean, I think you're screwed on both sides, because if you hit it, it spits at you, so, for the disrespect. It gets an E tier. And on magma, the magma cube, uh, it's the same thing as the slime. Neither of them are really, inter are really interesting because they're just squares with faces that jump up and down. Nothing more to it. And uh, speaking of useless mobs, the stupid glow squid. It's the both of the actually, you know, what the squid. Squid goes higher because this is this, this is original. This is not. It gives you some glowing ink sack, which I really don't care about because they're used for one recipe. Useless. Uh, mushrooms. These are a pretty interesting mob. We'll put them in B tier. And now the mule. Low C tier. I mean, it's the same thing as the donkey. I mean, need I say more? Ocelot. Um, same thing as the cat. We have a lot of reskinned mobs here. And, um, Panda. It's a cute mob. It's got some really unique animations. A tier. Um, Parrot. Also interesting. Goes on your shoulder. Like you're a damn pirate. Phantom. F tier. Pig. Um,. B tier, put it in between the chicken and everything, because I think it gives you just as much, not not just as much, but a little bit less than the cow, than the pillager. These things are kind of like skeletons. Actually, they are skeletons. Put them there. And I'm actually gonna go out of order again. This could this is an interesting one. It all depends on what villager you're talking about. It. If it's this villager, it's useless, murder it in cold blood, and let its family watch. But on the other hand, if it's a librarian, this thing is going straight to A tier, S tier. But if it's anything else, I would say A tier, so. A tier. Polar bear. Hmm. Probably just the same thing as the panda, but less interesting. B tier. Stupid mob. Pufferfish. Another stupid mob. I literally don't get anything out of it, except for a pufferfish. Actually, I take that back. I can use this for a few crafting recipes. D tier. The rabbit. Oh, this, 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 this thing's annoying. Um, I'd rather have three creepers blow up in my face. F tier. No doubt about it. The ravager. I believe that's what this thing's called. I forget what all the villager looking things. I like this mob. S tier. Very interesting. We have not had a thing like it yet. It's like a villager, a pig, and a horse. Because you can ride it, but it has the same face as a villager. I don't know where I got the pig from. But it's a pretty interesting combination of two mobs. There's sheep. Um, I would say a B tier. I mean, it's only the only thing that it has. Actually, it's got a few things that are original. 
I mean, you can shear it. Obviously, it's a sheep. And mutton. And you can dye it, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, shulkers. It's annoying bastards. D tier. Silverfish. Same thing as endermites. But worse, because they can come out of blocks randomly. F tier. Skeleton horse. S tier. Actually, I'll put that thing in front of the Ravager. I think it's cooler. Um, Snow Golems with their goofy faces. Um, I want to say A tier. I mean, they do help a lot. It's just not as much as the Iron Golem. The Hex. Another reskin of a mob. Of an annoying mob. Like, come on now. And speaking of reskins with um, the husk and the drowned, we have the zombie. Uh, this thing was original. I mean, I can't put it this low. So, C tier. This thing, the, the llama with the carpet, I don't, I don't understand why it's even on this tier list. F. And now the turtle. Um... I don't, I'm not really, I don't really have an opinion on this one. It's a turtle. It's not an interesting mob. I'm going to say E tier. Does nothing. It's slow. Um, this guy, I, I don't remember what you have to name him, but he kills everything. So, A tier. Low A tier. This guy's annoying and a scammer. Goes with his llama. The witch. Hmm. Well, gives you free potions, so. C tier. Now, the wither skeletons. You need these things to make the wither. And these are cool and scary, my, well, not really scary, but. Scarier than the skeleton, I'll tell you that. Oh, uh, when you see this thing, every bone in your body will tangle with fear. So, congratulations with the skeleton. You get S tier for. Scaring like every seven year old that plays this game. And the wither. It depends on what you're playing the game on. If you're playing this game on bedrock, say your damn prayers. And if you're playing this thing on Java, you could beat this thing with a wooden sword. I'm sorry, a wooden hoe. And you'd still win that battle. Hmm. So, since I'm a Java player, I'm gonna say. D tier. I mean, a cool mob, but not really hard on Java. And now the the wolf, S tier, high S tier. I don't even have to. I don't have to say anything else. Pigmen. Well, these are replaced with the the piglins. But uh, the original ones. I could respect them so much. I mean, these things mind their own business. I mean, so do the piglins, but these things came first. High S tier. For the amount of respect that these things give you. Because, unlike Enderman, like, if you don't, if you look the pigment in the eye, they're like, oh yeah, never mind, I don't really care. Enderman, they care. Zombie villager. Uh, they give you discounts. So, A tier, because, oops, doesn't matter. It, it matters what it is. If it's like a librarian, then I mean, like, come on. You're going to want to heal that thing up. But if it's anything else, then screw it. The ghast, this thing could see you from three miles away. But it's an interesting mob, so E tier. These guys, I'm going to give these guys a B, a very low B tier, because they can give us food in the nether. Which is something that we were not able to do before the nether update. I think it was 1.16. Right? 1.16 or 1.17. I don't remember. But uh, these guys, they were like nether villagers. They're pretty cool. Um, definitely better than the actual villagers because everything is randomized with them. The striders. These things are like horses, but in the nether. These... Are probably better than the horses, actually. S tier. Just because... Uh, okay, maybe not better than the dog. But these things just look cute. 
I mean, come on. The horses look like horses. I mean, there's no, nowhere to go there. Um, reskin. D tier. These things strike fear into my heart. Um, I'm scared of these things. E tier. These axolotls. Um, I prefer the blue ones. So let's just say that these are blue instead of pink. The pink ones I think are kind of mid. C tier. Now these goats. What was it? 1.18. No. Yeah, 1.18. These were fucking hilarious in the trailer. A tier. High A tier. And the frog. I don't know. I'd say that the frog is an interesting mob. Again, I don't get anything from killing it. Um, mid D tier, I guess. Now, a mob that's even scarier than the Piglin Brute. The Warden. Perhaps one of the best mobs in the game still. Uh, yeah. Perhaps one of the mo best mobs in the game, despite all this fear it sparks in me. This is the most interesting boss ever. Screw the Elder Guardian. Screw the Ender Dragon. Better than the Strider. Nothing's gonna beat the dog. That's the best mob. The Ally, I think, was just a big misunderstanding. This That whole mob vote was garbage. C tier. Alright, um, I hope you enjoyed watching me make a tier list on every single mob in the game as of 1.19. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers by the end of the year. And, um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Adios.